behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The scooters are coming back. If that sparks visions of jumping out of the way or hopping over discarded devices, have no fear, says the city. Chicago will now have some of the toughest scooter rules in the country. Morning Insider Lauren Victory gives us a sneak peek at what scooters round two could look like. In just a few short weeks, scooters will be zipping around Chicago again. 10,000 of them. We submitted what we believe to be a very successful um, application. Lime is one of four companies under consideration for the city's second pilot program. The company lets CBS2 try out its newest fleet that's sturdier, wider, and equipped with a second braking system in the back. Unfortunately, I cannot do this story without bringing up some images from last year. Okay. Yep, last year, when cameras caught two-wheeled machines from various vendors thrown all over sidewalks in the water and somehow in a tree. The city's 2019 pilot evaluation reveals improper parking and abandoned e-scooters were the number one scooter complaints to 311. What is your comment on how Chicago riders behaved last year? You know, I think Chicago riders are a good example of, of people uh, in the new introduction to micromobility. PR translation, there's a learning curve. To that end, the city is now requiring an in-app safety quiz and locks on every scooter. Riders are required to uh, now park their scooters at bike racks or signposts. You'll be charged until there's photo proof this rule is followed. One of the biggest changes this time, scooter rides can happen citywide. Except along the lakefront, the 606 trail, and in the central business district downtown. Another no-no and huge complaint last year, sidewalk riding. Lime says it created sidewalk detection technology, though that's not a Chicago requirement. And it'll be able to tell the difference between the sidewalk and uh, non-sidewalk surfaces, and we'll send them messages uh, after they complete their ride about where they've written on the sidewalk and how to prevent that in the future. Vendor names and phone numbers in Braille need to be on every device. Accessible scooters like this one will be available on demand. In Chicago, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Another new rule, 50% of scooters need to start on the south and west sides every morning. Chicago's Department of Transportation says a final decision on vendors should be made in early August. By the way, the city of San Francisco also requires scooters be locked instead of dockless. A spokesperson for the Municipal Transportation Agency tells CBS2 compliance is markedly better. For more stories like this, download our new CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.